If you ever wanted to play as a little fox hamster creature, now is your chance to unlock Vulpira Allied Race. As for all Horde Allied Races, you start off in Orgrimmar's Embassy, go to the big panda named G Firepaw and grab the quest Guests at Gromash Hold. If he doesn't offer you that quest, you probably need to do a pre-quest from him before that. Now you are meeting up with Cairo, the leader of the Fluffies, and you will watch him get brutally rejected to join the Horde. I guess Chief Bane is a bit of a racialist against small fluffy creatures. I mean, they do seem a little bit useless. But Mr. Fluffy Butt doesn't take a no for an answer and forces me asking everyone what are they whining about to Chief Bane. Jesus, bunch of whiners. Can't handle things on their own. And it turns out there are some easy to solve trouble going on that horde leaders don't find necessarily to solve. So Cairo dispatches his army of fluffy butts and basically sends me to help them solve all the horde nonsense. Oh my god. In Orgrimmar, go to this place near Drag where there are outdoor teleports and take a teleport to Twilight Highlands. Here you'll meet one of the Cairo's fluffy knights trying to solve the problem. Turns out there are a bunch of orc peons that are fed up with all the bullshit of all work and no pay situation. They're plotting an uprising. They are fed up how they are treated. You then get tasked to ask them what are they unhappy with. And it turns out their IQ is lower than the temperature in the North Pole. Oh my god. Eventually your task of doing all their job killing bunch of animals and gathering some materials. Now here, very important note. Do not make a mistake like me and don't run and start killing these things. If you just kill the wolves and panthers, you'll notice that the drop rate of items you need is incredibly low. What you need to do is to use the quest item they give you to make these creatures gigantic, thus they produce more meat they drop. I mean, kinda logical, isn't it? I almost feel bad smacking these poor rubber chickens though, right? So after all that killing, after doing all their work for them, now you have to invite them for a feast. Isn't that a blast? And while at the feast, you get tasked to beat up their leader who foolishly thrives to be a war chief. Oh buddy, there's a zero chance of that happening. So you are single-handedly crashing this poor org's dream and beating up like a bully. Yes, you're a bully, you're just beating up these weaklings. And after that, you have to return to Orgrimmar, affirming that you have done all the dirty work for orcs, and the situation is under control. No assassination attempts are going to happen. Then go talk to Cairo again. He will send you to Zuldazar. To get there, go to the portal room in Orgrimmar and take the portal to Zuldazar. Here on the cove, you'll find another one of his little minions saying that Naga here is up to no good and we have to stop their evil attack plans. And this guy will give you a bunch of quests to kill Nagas, smash their power cells and blow up to pieces their catapults. Then those Nagas sure love their spears. It's always a spear with Nagas. After that little chore, Nisha will ask you to kill the big bad Naga boss. And they really didn't want you to mistake this for a male Naga as giving all the pink flap. At least this time while you are fighting the big bad Naga boss, the little fox comes to help you out. After smiting down some Naga, you get back to Orgrimmar to again take no credit at all for resolving these hot burning horde issues. They literally don't give you any credit for doing all this. And then for the last time, you are sent off to solve a last problem that happens to be in Suramar. Go down to Orgrimmar's portal room and take a teleport to Azuna. Here you'll meet up with Mira who explains to you that they are slow as heck making some wine here. 
Those alcoholics from Orgrimmar can't get enough booze, apparently. So first, you will oversee the process, what each person is doing in the process of winemaking. There is this midget stamping on grapes, a torrent that does nothing, apparently, and a panda that just sleeps all day. But isn't that what pandas do anyway in real life? Eh? They just sleep and eat all the time. Like, look at this lazy bastard. Well, at this point you realize that the whole process is a mess. And Mira instructs you to fix this shit show. You then go to meet each of these lazy bastards again and tell them to swap places. Uh, that's a good idea, huh? Then you tell the main winemaking boss that stuff needs to change and eventually they send you to do some extra boring chores, I guess to improve the recipe, like buying some fermented flowers, killing some dirty old moths. How's this gonna improve the vine? Well, apparently that is what improves the wine recipe. And then you deliver the new made wine that was made with some uh, smelly, suspicious Tauren's feet. Ugh. But the elf, surprisingly, uh, really likes the wine. And basically all the problems are solved. And you just go back to Orgrimmar and uh, inform all the alcoholics the wine tap is back on. Now, what's most frustrating is after all this hard work you've done, Chief Bane thinks that the little fox creatures did the whole work and then just rethinks his decision to accept them into Horde. What? You basically single-handedly made sure those little foxes are able to join the Horde. And yet again, those little creatures get carried by stronger races, huh? Anyhow, after this you will unlock the foxy tail race and get this baby stroller mount. Who in their right mind ride this mount? I haven't seen anyone. Maybe babies? I don't know. I don't know. Do babies even play WoW these days? Maybe? I don't know. Ah, who knows. And there you have it! You have unlocked the Vulpira! Now you can enjoy the Critter Universe, I guess. And the best thing is that you'll be harder to target and find in PvP battles, huh? Alright. Well, as always, if you like this video, like it, and subscribe if you found it useful. See you guys later.